I'm as excited as anybody about the fact that um, knowing about our genes can, can tell us a lot about our propensity to certain kinds of ill health. And, and that's a huge and beneficial piece of knowledge for our medical professionals to have about the individual patient. But what I, I think is a, a deception is the idea that somehow um, we can, we, you know, we're going to be able to tailor make um, systems depending upon your genome. It's, it's, it's to really um, delude people into thinking that your genome really is going to tell you cradle to grave when you're going to get ill, what you're going to get ill with and what, what date you're going to pop your clogs and it's not true and we have to tell people it's not true. Personalised medicine is really what medicine's always been about. Any good doctor is going to be addressing the individual who appears in front of them. So I, 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 I dismiss the idea that somehow personalised uh, medicine has suddenly arrived on the horizon um, as if it weren't there before. Um, but I do think that one of the major issues for doctors is to ensure that, um, that we are spending time with a patient and getting to understand and know that patient. But the problems that are facing our society, um, which are around heart disease and around certain cancers, at, at the moment genetics is not in, in, in a place where it's providing us with the answers to very many of these things. It certainly is helping us around things like Huntington's career. Um, uh, it's helping people to make decisions decisions about their lives, like uh, um, when women find that they ha carry um, the BRCA gene, um, so that they can make decisions about um, whether they would have a mastectomy in order to deal with the risk for, of the high risk of breast cancer. So there are certain decisions that can be made with genetic information. However, I think there are significant moral and ethical issues um, how uh, genetic information could be misused. And one of the ways it could be misused would be by insurers, by insurance companies overreading um, uh, uh, genetic information and therefore not providing people with the kind of insurance that they need to live uh, their lives. I think it's really important to be having the Estellas innovation debate because um, it's wonderful that these things are coming down the road and they're going to change many aspects of our lives. But we have to ask, you know, what about the ethical, the moral, the legal implications of this? Are we ready?